Yeah, hey there, Ashley. We are near the North Clackamas Aquatic Center. This isn't too far from the scene of the deadly shooting over the weekend. Uh, this park is where family, friends, and supporters of Derek Clark will gather this coming weekend to demand justice for Derek. 24-year-old Derek Clark, a teacher in training with the Inside Alliance, a nonprofit focused on transforming lives and ending recidivism. According to Clark's profile on the nonprofit's website, he was introduced to the Inside Alliance while incarcerated at McLaren Youth Facility as a teen. The nonprofit posted on Facebook, Derek was a good person who cared deeply for his family and friends. He was funny, smart as hell, and really wanted to make a difference in the community. It makes what happened over the weekend all the more upsetting. Law enforcement tells KGW that just after 1245 Saturday morning, police suspected Clark of driving under the influence and they tried to stop his vehicle, but Clark took off. Authorities say Clark eventually drove into a ditch. Police then gave him commands to show his hands, a detail corroborated by a neighbor we spoke with. I heard, um, you know, just put your hands up in the air, please surrender and uh, walk towards Railroad Avenue. So, and they just kept repeating that. According to investigators, Clark got out of his car armed with a handgun. We're not sure if he was pointing it at anyone or even holding it, but at some point, an Oregon State Trooper and Clackamas County Sheriff's Deputy shot and killed the 24-year-old from Tigard. The deadly shooting of Clark, a man who appeared to be turning his life around, will now be reviewed by a Clackamas County grand jury. All right, the nonprofit that Clark worked for uh, declined an on-camera interview saying that they are deeply grieving his loss. I've also been in touch with family. They tell me they're not ready to speak publicly, but they may later this week when Derek Clark is remembered at a gathering near the North Clackamas Aquatic Center.